Tarsal coalition. Tarsal coalition is fusion of the tarsal bones that leads to a rigid flat foot, foot pain and multiple ankle sprains. Tarsal coalition is considered a congenital anomaly. There are two types of tarsal coalitions. First, a talocalcaneal coalition, which is a coalition between the talus and the calcaneus. A coronal cut through the talus and calcaneus shows the coalition as seen on the left. The second type is a calcaneonavicular coalition, which is a coalition between the calcaneus and the navicular. A talocalcaneal coalition usually occurs between the ages of 12 and 15 years. A calcino-navicular coalition, on the other hand, presents at an earlier age. 50% of coalitions are bilateral. Furthermore, about 20% have multiple coalitions in the same foot. Coalitions may be fibrous, cartilaginous or bony. It is believed to occur due to failure of segmentation. It could be associated with fibula hemimelia or apert syndrome. The patient usually complains of a painful foot. There is usually a history of repeated ankle sprains and a flat foot deformity. Tarsal coalition may result in a perineal spastic flat foot. On examination, you may also find a hind foot valgus. On toe standing, the arch does not reconstitute. Heel cord contraction might also be evident. Furthermore, there might be restriction of the subtalar joint's range of motion. It is important to check both feet, as the condition may be bilateral. The best imaging study is a CT scan, as it can determine the size and location of the coalition. MRIs are also useful, especially for detecting a fibrous or cartilaginous coalition. An illustration of a coronal cut CT scan shows the coalition nicely as seen. AP lateral and oblique x-ray views should be obtained. On lateral view, the calcaneonavicular coalition will show the characteristic anteater no sign, which is elongation of the anterior calcaneal process. A lateral view of a talocalcaneal coalition may show talar beaking, which is a type of traction spur occurring due to limited motion in the subtalar joint. Additionally, the C sign may be seen, which represents the outline of the talar dome and the sustentaculum. A 45 degree oblique view is considered the best view to detect a calcineonavicular coalition. Non-operative treatment usually consists of non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs, modification of activities or the use of a brace or casts. Surgical treatment for calcineonavicular coalition usually consists of resection with interposition of an extensor digitorum brevis muscle or a fat graft, regardless of the size of the coalition. Similarly, talocalcaneal coalitions involving less than 50% of the subtalar joint are also resected. A triple arthrodesis procedure is usually reserved for large coalitions, failed resections or advanced conditions. This video is for educational purposes only. Please consult your doctor before you make any decision about your medical care.